I came across a pretty cool theory. The theory is that many buildings used today could have been built by another oldish civilization and were adopted or stolen, then repaired. What are some of these buildings? The White House, the Salt Lake Temple, the US State Capitals, many of the St. Petersburg's buildings in Russia, and the Bund area in Shanghai, China. Just to name a few, however what exactly is and isn't inherited does vary from theorist to theorist. But yes, these do spread throughout the world. It is great having you choose my videos to watch and I hope you enjoy them. So why is this believed? The main oddity pushing forward this theory is how many of these buildings seem to be sunken into the ground. Let's look at the Salt Lake Temple. It's a great big building in Utah of the United States and is said to have started construction from 1847 to 1893. This place had some touch-ups for the surrounding ground of the temple in 1963, revealing a lot of structure underneath the building. It looks to continue, maybe even having another entranceway. The windows also seem to continue and perhaps were originally meant to be used as such. Once the touch-ups finished, the area was buried back again. Let's look at some of the buildings in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg of Russia was founded during 1703 and named after Peter the Great. Many of these buildings do look to cut things off into the ground, like potential window holes or entrances. These ground level designs seem strange nonetheless. This is where the term mud flood comes in, as this is a theory of what happened to these buildings. Worldwide structures being flooded and buried during the Middle Ages. The general idea being around 1600 AD. Could have been a cataclysm or a result of war, but nonetheless imply these buildings were made before it happened, which would go against the official construction dates of these buildings. Perhaps these dates could be the repair dates? Here are some images of Salt Lake Temple during construction. There is evidence of the construction, however, it does not mean it was 100% built from the ground up. This allows history to say it was under construction during these times, while not having to say the whole story. This is an interesting photo of the construction of the Iowa State Capitol in 1884. A point I've seen being made is that this area was not cleared before beginning the construction of the building. It's surrounded by trees and is generally leveled badly. The clearing was done after its creation. So I feel as though I should begin to talk about the branch theory of this. When searching about the mud flood theory, you may have also come across the term Tartaria. It is difficult to ascertain exactly what Tartaria is. According to Wikipedia, it is a region or multiple regions in Asia that represent unknown areas by Europeans. Meanwhile, in the Encyclopedia Britannica, Volume 3 of 1771, it explains Tartaria as a vast country in the northern parts of Asia. A British 1783 table of flags show Tartaria, or Tartary in this case, as one of the flags. The theory is that this civilization was much bigger than thought and could have existed for hundreds of years. The inherited building buried under the mud floods is attributed to this civilization, and in extension is believed to have been worldwide. Tartaria would have been conquered maybe little by little and slowly whittled down then afterwards would have been erased by history, the ruins being inherited and repaired to the towns and buildings seen now. The motive for this is difficult to say, but it could have had to do with propaganda during the wars and history just stuck with it. There are a few places to look for learning more about this theory. Some YouTube channels who discuss this include Earth Unknown, John Levy, and Wise Up for a collection of oddities in the world. There is also the site Stolen History that discusses this stuff in detail. It should be noted that the mud floods do not seem to be connected to the Younger Dryas Cataclysm theory proposing a flood 12,000 years ago, as the mud floods are assumed to have happened a few hundred years ago. However, many parallels exist with the inheritance and burying of many ancient structures. Maybe connections can be made with the two floods. If anyone plans to make a rebuttal, there are a few things I'd like to see be answered. Number one, an explanation on how buildings may have dug underground another way, or if not, then why underground structures look like they have entrances or windows. Number two, photo evidence of some of the buildings under early construction 
or of empty land they were on, and three, what the term Tartaria means. It'd be great to see them, and honestly, it'd be an honor to have responses to this video.